Hi, I'm Tim. I am the Tinkering Turtle. Uh, I'm going to do a pretty short video here, maybe 8-10 minutes, um, about what I consider an essential piece of a safety equipment to put on a bike before you take it out for the first ride. And that is a mirror. Now, it doesn't matter if you use a bar end mirror like me, or if you use a mirror that attaches to the handlebar and sits up above. It stops you from looking back and veering off the path or trail. And I think it's an essential piece of equipment. Let's talk about it. Before I take the links out to start putting the 50 or so miles I always do before I do a review on the bike, I always put the most essential piece of safety equipment on the bike and that safety equipment on the bike and in my opinion one of the most consequential is a mirror now these mirrors i've tried a bunch of different bar end mirrors out and these go inside the end of the bar and then expand out to hold it in place these are very large and they're got aluminum parts on them so they're really nice mirrors i've used these on a couple of bikes the visual look of the mirror itself is clear and it's big so you can see it easily i do link these in a lot of my different videos um, because i think they are some of the better mirrors i buy them in pairs because i go through a lot of bikes i don't know if you can find them in a single but either way for seven i think it was maybe 17 dollars for both of them um, it's a really good deal and they're just a high quality mirror and I love them. So what I'm gonna do today, and kudos to Troxas for putting nice rubber grips with a locking bolt on the handlebar. I really appreciate that touch. A lot of the bikes that I get don't lock on and they will spin as you ride and I don't like that. Um, but what you need to do to put the mirror in is you need to cut a hole in the end of the rubber to slide the bar end mirror on. Now there are other mirror options. You can get a mirror that holds on to the handlebars, comes up and sits above the handlebar. Those are perfectly fine. Whatever is the best for you. I tend to go with the bar end mirrors. I'm really happy with them and I put them on every single bike I have and I do it before I ride the bike because when you're riding down a path and you have to turn around and look behind you, you have a tendency to start veering to the left or right, depending on which way you're looking. So the mirror, especially riding with my wife, gives me the opportunity to just simply look down and see her behind me and see what's going on. And in addition to that, we use Cena uh, bicycle helmets with built-in intercoms so we can talk to each other. So it makes the ride a lot safer and a lot more pleasant. So what you have to do, to do this is I use an X-Acto, I'll puncture the rubber and I'll use the inside of the handlebar to get a good cut for the circle. So I'm just going to push it in. Be careful using any razor blade, don't cut yourself please. Now it seems like there's something hard in here, um, like plastic or something but I'm just going to cut around until I can get that to the point where I'm feeling like I'm getting that out. Now I'm using some force here, so you got to be very careful that it's slipping out and causing a problem. But it looks like there's a little plastic liner inside that you have to go through, so that, and then the rubber on top. And then simply make sure that it's cut right to the inside of the handlebars and I got a few areas here it's not be careful don't cut towards yourself I don't want anybody getting hurt doing this now I've trimmed right to the inside of the handlebar here so that should work fine these mirrors come with a lot of different adapters to adapt to different sized inside um, diameters of the handlebar so you got a bunch of adapters with it so you should be able to find one or more that fit your particular need. And that's one of the reasons I like this mirror is it comes with all the adapters that you're gonna need. You just need to mix and match until you find the right one. The inside diameter on these bars looks like it's about 0.7 of an inch, 
or just under 18 millimeters. And I went and measured the sleeve that comes on the mirror and it's right at the same um, size, may, maybe slightly smaller. So I'm gonna loosen the bolt. And what happens is there's a tapered nut on there that when it pushes in, it expands these um, little leafs on the mirror. And when you loosen it, that taper comes out. And I do that so that the, the leaves will compress in as far as they can. I will typically put this bar part up and slightly back, and that gives me a lot of a good adjustability to the mirror. So you just slide it into the bar or the, or the end of the handlebar, and then you will tighten it up with the included Allen wrench, or one of yours if you want. And you'll feel it move around until that starts expanding and move this up and out of the way inside the handlebar once it starts expanding inside the handlebar it will get very tight and it will not move that's very tight it can still adjust in out and up and down based on the tension of the you know allen bolts here you just if it moves too loose tighten those up slightly if it moves too hard you can loosen them up but most of the time, they're in a good position to give you full articulation. And they stay really good in place. So that's a nice thing about these bar end mirrors. So if you haven't got a mirror yet, you should definitely consider doing it. It's an essential piece of equipment and one that I highly endorse. This particular mirror, which I will link in the description, of course, is all aluminum it's really nice and adjustable as i showed it has all the components you need to fit almost any bar if you have any questions put a comment below and i will catch you next time thanks for watching mm -hmm.